The Art Center in St. Peter is once again partnering with patients at the Forensic Services Program at the St. Peter Regional Treatment Center. Dozens of art pieces are on display. Tonight marked the opening reception. Reporter Kyla Jackson takes us to the gallery where they are fighting the stigma of mental illness through art. These are real people, real emotions. How do you integrate mental health patients with the community? And how can patients at the St. Peter Regional Treatment Center make their mark in the community without being visible? These are the questions that shape the vision of the fourth annual Changing Minds exhibit. The connection that our patients have and they feel with the city and with you know, with the world basically, when they're able to do this in such a large scale and they know that they're being accepted because at the end of the day, you know, there are so many art galleries everywhere, but then, you know, for the city of St. Peter, for the art center to actually be welcoming of this opportunity, it's just, yeah, it's mind blowing. Exhibit attendees got the opportunity to check out more than 150 original works of visual and literary art, along with 230 pieces of audio art. All of this was created over the past two years by patients at the forensic services program within the St. Peter Regional Treatment Center. We, we recognize that there's therapeutic value for people in um, participating and and being seen as as artists. It's, it um, it removes some stigma to participate in an art show as an as an artist. Even though the patients couldn't attend the public reception, 70% of the art sales will be going directly to the artists for their daily necessities. This just feels like we're fulfilling our mission because our mission is about uh, stimulating and uplifting art. Uh, within our community, produced in our community, and um, certainly the hospital and residents of the hospital are part of our community. According to recreation therapist Kat Graves, this exhibit involves the patients in a way that is good for their recovery and healing processes. Part of mental health treatment um, as a, um, a patient is a multifaceted approach, so uh, the art and music are just as valuable uh, to people um, in recovery as, as um, some of the more traditional therapies that are usually um, delivered for mental health treatment. In St. Peter, Kyla Jackson, KEYC News Now. The patient's artwork is on display now through May 25th. May is National Mental Health Awareness Month.